guys. Today we're going to read chapter seven of Stargazing, and um, we left on a cliffhanger, so let's see how chapter seven goes, okay? I'm going to share my screen, and um, we are going to read this together. All right. Chapter seven, okay? So Moon actually passed out in the previous chapter. So here's Christine. It's really on her mind. She's having a hard time even playing the violin. She's peeking out her window to see um, how Moon is doing. And they see that she's, they, um, her dad has carried her home and her, Moon's mom is looking very sad. Um, Christine's running down the stairs um, and the parents are talking to the girls, Vivian and Christine. Um, and her dad says, the doctors discovered a brain tumor. It's in the visual cortex of her brain. Apparently she's been having seizures this whole time and we just never noticed. Moo never told any, anyone what was happening. She may not have been aware or maybe she thought they were just dreams. The tumor has been growing and pressing down on her brain. When that happens, there's a seizure. At first, it would have only affected her vision. Now, it's gotten stronger. That's why she collapsed today. What are they gonna do? They're gonna to try to operate and remove it as soon as possible. See, um, Vivian's look on her face. Is Moon gonna be okay? I think so, we hope so. They've scheduled the surgery for Thursday. In the meantime, Moon will stay home where she can be monitored closely. Let's keep her in our prayers. That's all we can do for now. You see the family hugging each other, being very worried. And um, Christina's having a really hard time. Thankfully, we haven't recorded any new seizures since the doctor's visit, but it's lonely for Moon. Maybe Christine could pay her a visit Christine has this panic look on her face. I'll ask Christine, I think that's a good idea. Oh, there you are. <laughs> you went wondering if you'd like to visit Moon. She seems a little down. Maybe you could cheer her up before the surgery. Moon's mom. Oh, um, now's not a good time. I have a test tomorrow and I need to study, maybe later. Christine runs up the stairs to her room and hugs the blinds closed. They were open at first and she shuts them. In the morning at 7 a.m., her alarm goes off. Mom's driving the girls to school. It's 7.56 and now it's about 1.37. And Christine is trying to concentrate at school. You see time is passing by all the way back into the middle of the night and she's still thinking about it. She's really struggling with how to handle the situation with Moon. And Moon is kind of wondering what's going on with Christine. As you can see, she's looking up at her window. Why hasn't she come to visit me? So now uh, Moon has to drive without Christine, the supportive Christine to the hospital. She's got her headphones in. The mom's saying, okay, pass your headphones over. You're about to go into surgery. Okay. Moon is trying to be brave, but looks worried. And her mom is definitely worried. She's crying. They're putting the uh, mask on her to help her breathe during the surgery while she um, goes through the procedure. Okay, Moon, you're going to take some deep breaths. Just relax. Good. How about a story? Once upon a time, there was a mermaid who lived at the bottom of the sea. One day she swims to the surface and sees a ship. There's a moon. She's now the an, uh, anesthesia is starting to um, take effect and it's putting her to sleep so that she can have a very successful surgery. And that is the end of chapter seven. Okay. All right. See you guys later. We'll have to see what happens next. All right. All right. Bye guys.